Okay, the, yeah, the hydrogen is starting to dissipate a bit now, but definitely not as fast as I would like. You know what? I think I need another reservoir. Who's suffocating and where and why? Not for any good reason. Oh, yeah, it's because they're trying to build this stuff up over here. Um, oh, well, not much I can do about that. I mean, Atmo suits would be a way to deal with it, but yeah, I'm, I, I'm not there yet. Oh, God, so many things to think about. The, definitely the hydrogen situation is better now. Um, yeah, it's gone up like three tiles. Um, it could still stand to be a little bit lower, though, to be fair. But do you know what? I'm going to raise that up even further. Really, what we need to do is just open all this. In fact, yeah, there we go. Um, a lot of these projects have been completed now. Um, so, in mind. Let's get, um, let's get this slime dealt with. Just going to do it very slowly um which one did i set for slime oh, nothing at the moment okay as soon as i see somebody come up through this door i need to be ready oh uh that's something i probably should have done as well build a deodorizer here and power it up Ugh, no easy way to do it though until I get through that wall. Okay. Uh, okay, I set this the wrong way. Shouldn't be that way, it should be that way. Now, I've dug out slime for the first time, so... Um, Organic slime priority nine. Okay, let's just check that this is working. So, as you can see, when Hex picks up slime lung, he gets coated in germs. So, he washes his hands. And then he goes automatically over to here. He gets covered in germs again by putting it down, which is why we have these sinks. Okay, is there any slime still hanging around here? No and no. Good. Which means that I can dig out a little bit more. But do you know what? That can get deleted as well. And you come and prioritise the slime removal, please. You shouldn't be able to... Oh, no, Judge Judy. No, 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 no. This isn't good. She's circumnavigating my... Uh, yeah, circumventing my will. So the idea was that they could only get up through this way, but Judge Judy's found this 
loop and she's now coated in germs. Oh no. Is there any way that I can get her to drop what she's carrying? Because otherwise she's just going to coat the base in slime lung. Oh, how do I get her to drop things? Oh, well, thank you for pointing that, that out. We're going to lose. Yes, if you look at that little white line, that shows where she's going to move to. So she she's just going to climb over this. Um, hopefully she doesn't leave germs all over that ladder. She has a little bit. Which is a problem to be... Uh, I need to... Um, I need to stop them coming this way. Or at the very least, I need them... If they're going to pick it up, they need to do it from up here. So um, I need to... Deconstruct the ladders that go down to the bottom. Ooh, this could be going better. They won't do that anymore. They can't even hop over here. So, it, yeah, the only way into this room now is through this system. And only two people have got the ability to do that. Tyler and uh, Luger. Ooh, that could have been so problematic. And that's exactly what we wanted. All of that water to drip down into here so that this pool starts to fill. Now that is a lot of water and that is not a lot of space. So that's the next problem. Um, and I'm just gonna pause it for a moment so that we can start to build upwards. Uh, it does mean unfortunately we're getting gonna let all these gases out into the base, but needs must because we need the space. Um, let's set a mop activity on those. Let's finish building that insulated wall upwards and delete that tile. Okay, good. Uh oh. Anybody see the problem? <laughs> I do. Uh, ah. One second. Need to get rid of all of these annoying little pop ups, but they won't disappear. Really annoying. Um, yeah, we have a problem. A big problem. There is so much water there that that is going to start overflowing into the base if I don't make this like an alert level priority. Come on, Luger or watch your face, Tyler. Come and get those built as quickly as possible. Oof. Okay, panic over. <laughs> Those getting built really quickly as well.
I don't think I'm going to be able to mop that. Nope. Oh, well, that's annoying. You know what? It's clean water. It's not germy. If I uh, deconstruct those and just let it spill out, it's going to go down here and perhaps make it more moppable. Uh, right. Need to carry on building that. And start deconstructing these mesh tiles. Okay, things are a little bit more under control. Almost ready to start pumping this water out. Like, how's it doing now? 23 to 20. It's not really gained any heat in all this time that I've been... Mind you, only, what, 12 cycles have gone past since I, uh, since I started up this live stream. Still very early days. Uh, yes, that is all now much more moppable. So let's... Prioritize all that. And that, uh, okay, just that little bit there, but uh, I think if I dig that out, that might. Hey, go. Hydrogen situation's way better now. Have a look. Yeah, much, 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 much better. Change that to a buzz, in fact. But now it should, if it's above a thousand grams, it should be sending the green signal. But it's less than a thousand grams, so why is it sending the green, oh, send green signal if above. So it's below, so it's not sending the green signal. Okay, good, 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 good. And just to prove that that's the case, if you look at this, the, uh, the icons are red, so it's uh, sending a red signal. Oh, okay. Good lord. Been the potential for a lot of things to go wrong in this playthrough. But we're surviving. Just. Um, why are you not getting wrangled? You should be getting wrangled. I don't know why they haven't jumped down out of the incubator, to be honest. Um, food is diabolical. Absolutely diabolical. Oh, now I can't build that there. Oh, God. Because of the gas filter. Um, okay, just delete it. Why is that? That has got a bristle blossom, but it's just obviously in an early stage. Uh, yeah, food is really bad. Really bad. Eesh. Really shouldn't have ripped those out so so quickly. Mock root and meal lice. Uh, 
uh, I think, temporarily. I have to throw back in a few of those meal lice plants. Still going to take a while for them to actually um, flourish, but I don't see another choice right now. Go on, please tell me. Oh, bristleberries, thank you very much. That is very welcome. <laughs> Just a little bit of a buffer. I'll try and get the food situation under control. Oof, things could drastically take a turn for the worse if I'm not careful. I uh, didn't mean to do that as an alert priority, so let's make sure that's set to five for everything else. Um, slowly mopping that out. Um, they will no longer be needed because there's not enough water up there to make it overflow anymore. So let's get rid of those so they can get access to this room again. Hydrogen is in a much better position. And got so much stored up that uh, it's going to power the base for a long time. Strangely making the hatches redundant because they're producing a lot of coal, but the coal power plants aren't really being used. Everything's being powered off this hydrogen generator. With that in mind, because these aren't producing any power, they're not on, and they're not producing any heat, which means that these weeze warts are actually doing a phenomenal job at uh, keeping this, this area cool. Um, right, let's start to carefully deconstruct this. This is almost finished building. The only thing that's missing is the pump. I, I took that out so it didn't start working before I wanted it to start working. Because um, again, I want to do that carefully, very carefully indeed. Hydrogen is starting to build back up here at the uh, at the Atmos Center now. Had to be very careful and very delicate because lots of things at once all went haywire. So these are both now full, which should mean I, d I don't know why the the, ha uh, the hatchlings are just sitting in the incubator. They should be jumping out and walking around, but they're not for some reason, um, which is a bit annoying. I suppose, in fact, when they be, when they become full-grown hatches, they'll jump out. But ideally, I could do with the food right now. I want them. I want them out. Um, you know what? Yeah, there we go. I don't know why it's making me manually do that. That's really silly. Um. So in that. Case. I am gonna. Mm, I'm gonna attack one hatch from each. 
so that those babies get moved in. Oh, they ate the meat. I wanted the meat. <laughs> I need the meat for food. There we go. Cook some barbecue. Okay, that hydrogen is actually getting eaten up now. Whew. Hey. Let's just double check. None of this has got germs on it, which is good. So let's start trying to deal with some of this slime lung. Um, again, key. Very slow, very steady. Uh, we need to disable disinfect on all of these. No point people coming to disinfect them because they're all sat chlorine. Um, disable, disable, disable. In fact, I probably should have done the same thing in here as well. Periodically, there's probably people coming in to disinfect this stuff. This could do with being cleared out as well. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll switch off the pump. And before switching that on, make sure that it's anything other than water. Let this cycle round. Make sure that all the germs are gone. Still about 30,000 in there, so I'll come back to that in a second. Um, let's just double check germs around the base. Good, no germs getting around other than, of course, floral ones, which we want. They actually give a buff. Good. Okay. Let's dig out a little bit more slime. The reason I'm prioritizing this is because of the hydrogen situation that we were getting into before. I kind of want all of the hydrogen being funneled up into a, a kind of more enclosed area. And I'll be able to kind of dig out a little bit this way and a little bit this way so that I can put in two um, Draco farms. So yeah, we are going to go and wrangle some Dracos in the not too distant future. Uh, 
Um, may not be the wisest of ideas, but I am going to try and replace more of these uh, farms with hydroponic farms. Because they require less maintenance from our dupes, and they grow faster. Well, I think they grow faster as a result of the fact that the you know the water's not going to be manually delivered. They may also get an actual boost to to growth rates as well. I'm I'm not entirely sure, but uh, either way, we want uh, we want things to uh, be more efficient. Growth halted because of the pressure. Hmm. Have a quick look. Ooh. We have got way too much chlorine in this base. Way too much. Uh, right, let's solve that problem immediately. Um, gas pump. Let's, uh, let's just make it there so it's accessible to everybody. Um... Ventilation, gas pipe. Now, where do we want it going to? Um, where is it going to be useful? Probably over here somewhere, to be honest, because, um, yeah, to deal with this slime, I might set up like a new little clean room in here. But yeah, let, let's figure that out now. Um, so we had that and that, and then that and that, that and that. Nope, that doesn't work. I always mess this up. I can never quite figure out the correct placement. An additional electrolyzer would be a good thing as well. Um, yeah, it wouldn't hurt, but uh, I mean, if we look at the concentration, oh, actually, no, the concentration of oxygen is appallingly bad. Appallingly bad. Um, yep, let's go and do that. And we'll also put in a temp shift plate. What's that under? There it is. So we'll need to power that up, and we'll also need it plumbed in as well. Running out of water down here, so we are going to have to start pumping the water. Well, in fact, one thing I'm going to be doing is moving these electrolyzers up top um, in the not too distant future. Um, and it's going to be part of this aqua tuna system that I have with this new reservoir over here. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. But, do you know what? I'm going to throw in an oxygen diffuser back up here as well for now. Because, yeah, the, uh, the oxygen is getting a little bit light. Thank you for pointing that out. We're going to lose. Um, I'm so focused on the things that I'm trying to get done that I'm, uh, I'm missing bigger problems. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
things are very tricky right now. Um, I definitely want this insulation going up further. Just as a kind of marker of where it's going to go. Probably too far there. The orange error message on the left could also be a hint. Insufficient oxygen generator. It says that all the time, though. Like, it was, a bit, like, at the start of the session, that was still there. Uh, yet, like, the, the oxygen was, like, 1,000 uh, 1, grams plus dense in every pile. So, yeah, that, that's not always a good indication. It's, it's kind of broken, that. Um, but, yeah, it's... <laughs> now, now it is actually making a valid point, for sure. Annoyingly, hydrogen is actually starting to get pumped over into this area over here, which I don't really want it to do. So, or rather, it's kind of diffusing up and to the left, which is what it does actually, but I kind of want it going up over here, which is rather frustrating. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and coax it into the right direction. Very small gap for it to get through there. So hopefully more of it will get kind of trapped in the uh, in the tower here. Um, hey, we are nearly ready to go and get rid of all of this plumbing stuff over here. So dig out a little bit more of this. Oh, actually, hold on. Don't want to be destroying those. Want it running down into here. Yep, hydrogen is starting to back up again now. Uh, mind you, there is tons, tons and tons of space. Uh, it's just because it's not very dense. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, it's just because we're not producing enough oxygen, probably. Um, oh, yeah, I did start to try and figure out what I'm going to do with this chlorine as well. Um, so we're going to want a filter right next door to it. So, oh, not gas bridge, gas pipe, uh, straight in. And then if it's anything other than chlorine, oh, oh, in fact, yeah, right next door to it's probably not the best idea. Let's um, pump it up here. Cancel that, and we'll do. If it's not chlorine, up here. If it is chlorine.
Now, I mean, this room is already pretty dense with chlorine, but I don't know where else to pump it to right now. It's not going to get overpressured for a while. Oh, let's just check that this can... Oh, no, it can't. That's not going to be able to handle the extra power it's consuming. Oh, yeah, that's the point. Should really switch this on. It's definitely clean by now. Oh, no. Did the wrong thing. Didn't mean to uh, switch. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Didn't mean to flick that switch, meant to change this to water so that it can start pumping out the clean water into the basin. Um, yeah, just need to get rid of some of this chlorine. I mean, it's not particularly dense, but still, I, I need it out of the base because that just, I mean, just look at the clouds of it. It's absolutely dominating around here. It needs to get gone. Wouldn't hurt to put in some airflow tiles over here as well to try and help some of this escape. And same along here. Why is growth halted? Kind of flicking on and it's probably because of the chlorine, in all honesty. Ugh. Um, Once all this is mopped up, I can uh, break open this ceiling, and that'll be a lot of oxygen that's now flowing down into the base as well. But I don't want to do that immediately. I kind of want to get some of this... Ooh. Fluted oxygen has got some slime lung in it now. So yeah, all the more reason to have built that deodorizer, and definitely why I'm not opening that up just yet. Um... Yeah, just in case anybody was wondering as well, the reason I built this clean room was so that the slime could go in here. And as you can see, there is now no germs on the slime because it's being killed off by the chlorine. Now, slime lung will die off in um, normal oxygen, but it will actually grow in polluted oxygen. So you can kind of dip in around a lot. That's because there is a bit of hydrogen and there is a bit of clean oxygen as well. So the, um, the faster I can kind of get this polluted oxygen turn and normal oxygen the better. That sand to be delivered and you can see that it's uh, starting to chew up some of this now and spit out some clean oxygen. Oh god, so many things to think about. So many things. Uh, right, this isn't working yet because we need to set it to and we also need to oh yeah of course I, I didn't figure out where the power was going to come from for this um, in fact it can probably come from this power transformer down here because the only thing that this is actually running um, I believe is these electrolyzers how much are they taking up uh, well, oh only 120 each so yep yeah. 
Oh, and of course, the electrolysers aren't working because I never reconnected all of this before. Oh, God. Um, how? Yeah, that's why the, the whole oxygen situation's just gone to pot. I didn't reconnect anything after I did all of this. Uh, oh, no, hold on. Um, cancel that. And deconstruct that because I need to do a wire bridge. Oh no, uh, no, yeah, I should, I should deconstruct that. Come on, quickly, thank you. Um, power, wire bridge. That's why oxygen's become a problem. We're producing literally none. <laughs> We've got one oxygen diffuser barely scraping, uh, which we need together. Uh, why is this hatch just kind of hobbling around? It needs to get wrangled somewhere. Can't do it. It's still too much chlorine. Uh, right. Yes, we do want to put the power from this circuit here. So up to here to here um, okay, hold on. cancel that you construct that um Okay, electrolyzer's working again. Oh, God. Yeah, look how quickly that solved the situation. <laughs> uh, okay, panic. Panic averted. <laughs> 